Cross-cloud network involves the interconnection of multiple cloud or on-prem networks that are physically connected to each other at one or more network-to-network -network interfaces. My name is Lauren Price, and I'm a networking specialist customer engineer. In this video, we'll cover how to design routing policies for resiliency, failover, and path preference across networks. Before jumping into design concepts, let's cover some introductory baseline concepts. There are a few different products that can facilitate hybrid connections. For cloud-to-cloud -cloud connectivity, you can use cross-cloud interconnect. But if you are unable to use cross-cloud interconnect, you can use dedicated interconnect or partner interconnect through a co-location facility. All of these options have a throughput rate of up to 100 gigabits per second per link and can leverage MacSec and IPSec encryption. If you don't require high bandwidth, it's possible to use VPN tunnels using HAVPN. Dedicated and partner interconnects and HAVPN can also be used for on-prem connectivity. For modularity, reusability, and the ability to insert security appliances, place external connections and routing in a transit VPC, which then serves as a shared connectivity space for other VPCs. The transit VPC can then be peered or connected via NVAs to the internal portion of the network. Lastly, here are a few things to be aware of with interdomain routing to external networks. Use the fewest aggregate prefixes as possible for each region and domain combination to improve scalability without exceeding limits on edge devices. VPC networks and Cloud Router both support global cross-region routing. Cloud Router automatically advertises routes with predetermined path preferences based on regional proximity. This routing behavior is dependent on the configured dynamic routing mode of the VPC. You might need to override these preferences for the routing behavior that you want. Different CSPs support different BGP and BFD functions, and Google Cloud Router also has specific route policy capabilities. Different CSPs might use different BGP tie-breaking attributes to dictate preference for routes. Consult your CSP's documentation for details. Let's jump into designing for resiliency. Designs that use Cloud Interconnect are required to have a minimum of two connection locations that are in the same region, but using different edge availability domains. Cloud Router is instantiated across multiple zones, which provides higher resiliency than a single element would provide. This means you can use a single Cloud Router for multiple interconnect links within a region. Interconnect designs can provide a 99.9% .9 SLA within a single region using two links. To provide backup connectivity, networks can peer at multiple geographical areas. By connecting the networks in multiple regions, the availability SLA can increase to 99.99%. This is achieved via four links, two in each region and a single cloud router in each region. For failover, the decision should be made to configure duplicate connections in an active-active or active-passive state. Active-active uses ECMP routing to aggregate the bandwidth of both paths and use them simultaneously for interdomain traffic. Cloud Interconnect also supports the use of LACP aggregated links to achieve up to 200 gigabits per second of aggregate bandwidth per path. Active Passive forces one link to be a ready standby, only taking on the traffic if the active link is interrupted. We recommend an Active Active design for interregional links. However, certain on-premise networking topologies combined with the use of stateful security functions can necessitate an active-passive design. Moving on to route preference. If a multi-regional design is implemented, it should accomplish flow symmetry. While it isn't always mandatory, flow asymmetry can cause issues with stateful security functions. The design should indicate the preferred network for inter-regional communications, which you can do with hot potato and cold potato routing. We recommend using cold potato routing in Google Cloud due to the global routing functionality in the VPC. To walk through a cold potato routing example, traffic originating from region A in Google Cloud with a destination of customer location B will cross into region B in Google Cloud and use the hybrid path for region B to reach customer location B. On the other hand, with a hot potato routing example, traffic originating in customer location A 
with a destination of region B in Google Cloud will use the hybrid connection from customer location A and cross into region B in Google Cloud. This is because we've chosen Google Cloud as the preferred network for interregional communications. In closing, when designing your hybrid connectivity, remember the most important decisions to make are designing the required SLA, whether it be three nines or four nines, implementing an active-active or active-passive failover, and lastly, indicating your preferred network for interregional routing with hot potato and cold potato routing. For more information on the topics discussed, check out the Solutions Guide in the Architecture Center for Network Segmentation and Connectivity for Distributed Applications in Cross-Cloud Network. I also encourage you to take a look at the other videos in the Cross-Cloud Networking series. You can find the links in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, comment, or subscribe. Thanks for watching.